So as a quick review, when we're recharging the system, on the manifold, the low side valve is open, and the high side valve is closed. But to get a reading, the high side quick connect is open. So when we're finished with the charge, we're going to be closing this valve off. All right, so we just finished the AC charge. Now the high side is indicating 200 plus PSI, and the low side is oscillating between 35 and 40 PSI. The high side gauge indicating approximately 200 PSI. That 200 pounds of pressure is trap freon in the high pressure line. Then that equates to approximately three ounces of freon. So we want to be able to get that refrigerant over to the low side. So we do that by closing off the high pressure service valve or quick connect by turning it counterclockwise. Okay, so now we've trapped approximately three ounces of refrigerant in this red line, the high pressure line. Now when I open this valve up, on the manifold, the gases will go from the high pressure line over to the low side. The low side needle will temporarily go up, indicating that it's taking in the pressure from the high side, then it'll equalize. So here we go. So no more pressure can get into the high side line except for the pressure that's indicated on the low side, which is right now around 36 PSI. So on the high side, the high side gauge is basically mimicking the pressure that's on the low side. So you'll have a little bit of residual pressure on the high side, which will am amount to a couple tenths of an ounce of uh, refrigerant. So now we'll close this off. Now, when we shut the car off, the system, the pressure is going to equalize and that gauge is going to shoot up. So we also want to close off the low side as well. So closing off the low side prevents the low side pressure from going up because the system will start equalizing. Now we'll shut the car off. And what you see in these gauges remain locked. So those are the gases that are trapped inside the low and high pressure lines right now. So if I were to open this valve up, That was the little bit of residual pressure inside the low pressure side. Now all the gauges are at zero. So if you want to make sure you're not shortchanging your AC recharge and leaving approximately three ounces of refrigerant in your lines, then do this procedure to make sure it transfers into your AC system. And we're done.